Hey YouTube, Maddie's Daddy 12 with Just Arden 3623. Uh, Team JMT going to give you guys a quick little rundown of how we think the ban list could or could not go. Um, we've talked about this a couple times, and we really feel that it could go a couple different ways. Pretty well based around this card. Uh, depending on how they manage that card is going to depend on how we feel the ban list could you know could go. Um, been a lot of talk about that coming back. Uh, if that was to come back off the ban list to one, um, Cold Wave and True Nade are two cards that could possibly be hit. Um, Cold Wave being banned along with Giant True Nade, I feel bringing that back in a combination of that would be would be okay. Um, you have no way of preparing for Cold Wave uh, once it's been played. Uh, you have no way of of building back or preparing for the next turn. Um, I kind of feel the same way about Giant True Nade. I, I feel like I have less answers to Giant True Nade than I do to Heavy Storm. Um, Driz. Well, the common theme for me is going to be health of the game. Is his is going to be pack sales. <laughs> yes. But I feel like the overall health of the game, you leave these two out and you keep the card that's a negative back row clear it's a negative one technically, it doesn't really net you anything, which is, that's kind of how the format is right now, is plus and minuses, which is the kind of format I like, and not the, hey, I'm going to OTK you stuff. But at the same time, if they were to get rid of both of these, and, you know, leave this, I mean, that's not terrible, because we do have Starlight Road, and if Dark Hole was to stay in that same time, then we and, have a, two Starlight Road targets. And like he said, with, uh, the Starlight Road, uh, with it being printed as a silver stamp in the recent Duelist pack, is another reason why that could promote more uh, pack sales. Um, now, this is a point that you made with uh, with the pot of duality. I just feel like if you hit Code Wave off of duality, it's not going to be the same as if Heavy Storm is legal and you hit Heavy Storm off of duality. Because once you hit this off of duality, you can't even play it. But Heavy Storm, you can. So I feel like it's at three right now. I could actually see it going to two, possibly even one, depending on Heavy Storm. All right, and once again, guys, depending on how they manage this card uh, or combination of these three cards is going to depend on how the rest of this plays out. Uh, next, we'll talk about Monster Reborn. Uh, this is a card that we both feel could possibly be banned. Uh, I agree with Driz on this, on his reasoning. Uh, it should be banned. We just we don't have very many answers to it, more or less. Uh, the main thing we have is solemn warning, and if you're just sitting on your warning for one card that they may or not have, that's I mean that's not how you're supposed to be playing. You're supposed to be playing your cards for what they have, and you just you can't keep just anticipating this and waiting on it. And like I said, solemn warning, the main counter you can possibly DD crow, possibly bottomless, but those are just maybe cards, so yeah, I just yeah. don't feel like it should be legal. Yeah, if they hit your monster, then you can't DD Crow. Uh, if they hit a smaller monster, then you can't uh, Bottomless Trap Hole. Um, I, I agree with him, because if you're sitting on your Solemn Warning to hit this card, and you do hit it, they've still got their normal summon that they could hit you with that could possibly be just as devastating. Uh, next, we want to talk about Gores. Um, the biggest reason I feel like this card is going to be banned is because of pack sales. In this upcoming pack, uh, Storm of Rag, we have uh, a trap card coming out. So what it does is you take damage when you control no monsters. When you take damage, uh, you activate it, you gain the damage, or you gain it back, and then you summon a token equal to the damage that you took. Which is basically what Gores does for you. However, Gores is an instant plus one when it gains you the token. As well as a 2700 body that special summoned in the damage step. Yes, that you can do very little to stop. Uh, next, Dark Hole. Should this be banned? Well, like, like I was saying, with the Heavy Storm, they bring that back. We still have Starlight Road. Starlight Road still answered this, but it's not played as much because unlike your spells and traps, your monsters, they aren't as important like just staying on board. Like, usually you're going to use a monster, it's pretty much expendable after it's lived for a turn, more or less. And you can just play around Dark Hole. I mean, you know your opponent has Dark Hole, 
just don't overcommit to the board, and you'll probably be fine. Yeah, I I completely agree. Of course, I I play a lot of stun, so I I normally won't commit a lot to the board. So Dark Hole has really not hurt me much this format, as much as I thought it was going to when I heard it was coming back. Uh, next, we're going to talk about some cards that we could possibly see limited, uh, doing some moving around on the limited list. Uh, Debris Dragon is a card that we could see possibly going to one or two. Um, I personally think it needs to go to one. Uh, if it does go to one, it promotes the play of Quick Draw, which of course sells more packs of the, the You Say Duelist pack. Um, now that's just immediate answers uh, there, but I just I really feel like it's being splashed in just so much stuff. I just feel like they could put Dandelion back to one, but this card is I mean it's still insanely good at three if they put Dandelion still to one because it's just you summon it and you Black Rose. Yeah, you get Black Rose. Um. And spamming of Black Rose has been a real big problem in this because I feel like you can put, and we've seen it happen in our locals. People have borrowed my deck uh, and other plant synchro decks, and are players that don't normally do well, and they just summon they top deck to Bree Dragon, summon Black Rose, and and they're good players all of a sudden. Uh, I really feel if this stays at three, I, I really feel if it stays at two or more, Black Rose needs to go back to one. Because, I mean, it's just... Right now, it's summon Black Rose no matter what your opponent's board looks like. If it goes back to one, your opponent might have bottomless and you might lose your only copy of Black Rose. Yeah, it, it makes it makes it more... Uh, I don't know. Thoughtful. Thoughtful, yes. That's probably the best out. Uh, okay, next. One of the most popular uh, topics when it comes to ban list discussion. Uh, six Sams. Now, this is something me and him disagree on. Um, you want to start this one? I just feel like... They have a lot of search power already. They have Rota, not to mention they have Draw Power and United. They have a ton of special summon ability. It's, I think it's overkill to leave this card at anything other than one because they just have so much already. Why give them, you know, the pluses that this thing generates over and over and over again? And why let Samurais have a board of three or four monsters and still have you know, two to three back row as well as, like, five cards in hand. That's just stupid. Uh, and see, I, I disagree with that. And once again, it comes back to pack sales. I really feel that leaving this, or taking this to two, and taking a combination of, like, Gate, or of uh, Grandmaster, or Six Sam United, still promotes the play of Six Sams, which, of course, will sell more packs of the new set. Um... Another another point that I'd like to make is is how long did we keep Black Whirlwind? You know, we kept it at three for a while. They tried taking Gale to one before they ever touched Whirlwind. Then they tried taking Gale Whirlwind to two, and it was still it was still a problem. That's why I almost feel that they could take this to two uh, along with United uh, before they actually take it to one. Uh, next, uh, not that much thought we have to put into this one. Uh, Faltro. I hate X Savers. <laughs> that's that's pretty much the the gist. Uh, you you take this to two and you slow down their OTK ability, and you just make the deck a little less playable. Uh, well, the deck is still just as playable. I really feel if you take this to two, um, it just makes it a lot more healthy. I just feel like it's stupid that I mean you're you can already search the card anyway. Just yeah, why leave it at three? Uh, next, another point that we kind of disagree on. Uh, Royal Tribute. Um, Driz feels that it needs to go to one. I honestly think they could leave this card at two. Um, if they were to leave it at two and a combination of taking this to two or possibly Spy to two, and that slows the deck down enough to where the deck is still playable, it's still competitive, it still wins, but just not as fast. Like, the only thing, the only problem I have that's an exclusive, that Spa is not necessarily a problem. The real thing is getting Descendant, tributing off him to pay the cost for it. And I feel like the overall health, Royal Tribute at one, is just better because you can't auto-lose like you can yeah. now. 
if you and, draw bad. And I, I, I agree with him. Uh, you open four monsters and a first ro a first turn roll tribute just wrecks your face. Uh, I also see his point about the recruiter. They have they have yet to touch a TCG exclusive. I mean, we all dumped off our Dark Souls at the end of the last format just because we were expecting Dark Soul to go to one or two. Uh, and which never happened, and Barrier was the same point. I mean, it was a TCG exclusive that everybody talked about it getting hit, and it never did. Um, next, just out of... Um, they've done so much. We touched on this just... I touched on this just a second ago. They've done so much uh, periodically to just try to cripple Black Wings. I really see this as the next step. Yeah, it's doing well in the OCG. It's doing well in the TCG. It's probably going to happen. It's kind of stupid, in my opinion. I think Black Wings are just Black Wings. They're always going to be there. And people keep trying, and they succeed in finding new ways to play them. So one or two? I think two before they go all the way to one. But they might end up going to one eventually. So. All right. Next, just out of pure popularity, uh, Ryko and Book of Moon are getting so much play right now. Um, this is a point that you brought up. Uh, the main thing they did with Bottomless Trap Hole, people were playing three of them, just playing three. And that's what people are doing with Book of Moon right now. It's just so disruptive. Uh, it's good pretty much against everything. So I could see that going back to two. And not too long ago, we only had one of this. Uh, Riku, kind of the same way, but I mean, it's kind of iffy or whether they want to do anything with that. All right, next is a deck that we think could get touched. But I don't. I just don't feel that it's been quite popular enough in order to really get touched and to be honest with you I've not played it, played it enough to really know what would be the problem cards for them to touch I've pl I played one at locals uh, but there's really I feel like if they get rid of one of the back row mass removal cards and leave us with just heavy or just grenade or you know like that it's not as big a problem but other than that something probably should be hit but it, it just hasn't seen enough play to really warrant it, I don't think. Yeah, that's kind of my point. I just I feel something could happen. I just don't really know what it could be. Uh, next, we're going to talk about some cards that we feel could make a comeback. I really feel like Destiny Draw could see some more. Uh, could go to two, uh, and would still be healthy. Uh, I understand uh, Absolute Zero uh, uses it, and that could become a problem deck if that goes to two. Um, I really feel like this goes to one because of the DHZ, the Destiny Hero Zombies. And with Burial, if it stays at 1 and Mizuki stays at 1, I feel like they can bring that to 2. That deck becomes playable again, and it's not a problem. I just feel like it was kind of too much. I feel like this at 2, Alert at 1, it helps Absolute Zero, it helps maybe Destiny Hero Zombies. That's probably fine. Alright, uh, next we want to talk about uh, Lightsworn. Uh, Luma and Necrogardna. Uh, now, we kind of disagree on this, too. I really feel that should come back to two, but I kind of feel that's okay at one. I just feel like definitely if this comes back and that comes back, probably just if this Judgment should go to one. Oh, yeah, definitely. They'll never ban Judgment Dragon, probably, because they haven't banned Dark Arm. Dark Arm's overpowered. <coughs> it's just the way it is. They like power cards. But I really like this guy, mostly just because it's a different mechanic that, you know, we don't see very often stuff. You have to worry about him during your battle phase. And they nuked Light Sworn all at once, so, I mean, yeah. give them Lumina back at two. Alright, last, uh, we're going to talk about a card that could come back from the ban list completely. Tribe Infecting Virus. Um, this is a card that I almost want to say is almost needed, with Black Wings being all Wing Beast, um, Six Sam's. I mean, I feel like the main problem is Konami's going to keep churning out archetypes in our faces, which I despise. Yes. But, and this will help kill their archetypes that they keep trying to throw in our face. So, if anything, this can't be back with Dark Hole. Yes, uh, that was, that's a point that I wanted to make, was that if we have, like the point that I made with uh, Monster Reborn, it's hard to prepare for Monster Reborn with Solemn, when you're trying to counter with Solemn Warning, and then they'll still have their normal summon. It's hard to prepare for Dark Hole and then me still drop Tribe Infecting Virus and blow up your field anyway. Yep. Um, so there you go, guys. There's our uh, our ban list discussion. 
Uh, comment down below. Uh, make sure you subscribe. Show us how much you love us. Driz out.